Hello friends, this video on oscillations part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 9 before going ahead with part 10. Now let us have a look at if there is any relationship between a simple harmonic motion and a uniform circular motion. Now if you think of these two motions in your mind, you will find that both are two different motions, right? When an object moves in a circular path uniformly, it is uniform circular motion. But is there any relation between the two? That is what we will study in the next few slides. Now to understand the relationship between simple harmonic motion and uniform circular motion in a layman's terms. Forget about the mathematical part of it or the physics behind it. Just think of this situation that suppose you are standing, you are holding, you have a rope at the end of which is tied a small stone. Now you keep it in your hand and move it in a circular path. Right? You, you move it in such a way that the one end of the string is between your fingers and you are holding it upright and moving it in a circular path. So now when you keep this circular motion or when you move it in this way and keep it just and keep your hand just in front of your eyes. That means it, when you keep your hand in such a way that your eyes and your hand is on a straight line. How do you observe the motion? Do you observe a circle? No, you don't. If somebody who is standing on the 10th floor of a building and if you are standing on the ground, then the top view that a person standing on the 10th floor will get will be a circle, somewhat like this. The stone, you are moving the stone in a circular path, right? Somebody is observing you from 10th floor of a building. So when he observes that movement of the stone, this is how it will look to him. This would be the motion. This is where you are holding it. This is where you are holding it and this is how you are moving it. This is how it will appear to somebody who will see the top view. So this is the top view of the motion. So from the top view, it is basically a uniform circular motion if you are moving the stone uniformly. Now let us suppose that your friend is standing in front of you. That is you are standing on the ground floor and your friend is also standing on the ground floor and he is standing in front of you. How will he observe the motion? He will find the stone moving somewhat like this. Right? This is your, this axis is just to show that it is moving along this path, right? So this is where you are holding it, the stone. This is your hand. And let us suppose this is you. You are standing like this. And you are holding the stone and you are moving it like this. So from somebody from top, he will see it as a proper circular motion. For, for somebody who is standing at the same plane as you will observe it somewhat like this. Now if you imagine a person who is standing in front of you, front of you and his line of sight is exactly the same as the motion of the circle. So in that case he will find observe the movement of this stone somewhat like this. And what is this motion? This motion is nothing but simple harmonic motion. It is a periodic to and fro motion, right? Periodic to and fro motion where the force is proportional to displacement. So in this, so this kind of motion, so what do we observe? We observe that at certain times, a uniform circular motion can be viewed as a simple harmonic motion. Even though the motion in reality is a simple, is a circular motion because you are moving the stone in a circular path. But the same motion can be projected in a different way. 
So the same motion can be projected in a different way. So for somebody it might be a circular motion but for somebody else it might be a simple harmonic motion. So now we will see mathematically how is it possible that a circular motion <coughs> can be interpreted as a simple harmonic motion. Please make sure that you have understood this scenario. Try to apply this scenario in your real time and you will see that this is what you will observe. So what is this scenario? You stand straight, take a thread in your hand, tie a stone on the other end and move it in a circular path. Right? When you move it in a circular path in such a way that the circle should appear as a circle from the top view. That is a person, somebody who is in a helicopter in the high above in the sky. If that, per, that particular person sees the movement of the stone, they see it as a circular path. For somebody who stands in front of you, will see the motion to be a circular path but it will appear as a oval. But if somebody is standing exactly with his line of sight in the plane of this motion, he will observe it as a simple harmonic motion. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.